case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1900, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Tyler v. Judges of the Court of Registration, which centered on the principle that a person can only challenge a law if it directly affects them. Furthermore, the Supreme Court can only review state court decisions on state laws if the issue of the law's validity is clearly presented in the case. The plaintiff in the case sought to challenge a state statute, despite not having a direct interest in the law's constitutionality. The court's task was to determine if the plaintiff had the necessary interest to bring the case and if they had jurisdiction over the matter. Mr. Justice Brown, who wrote the majority opinion, stated that the purpose of litigation is to establish a right for the plaintiff or to defend the party being pursued. Generally, a plaintiff needs to demonstrate a personal interest in the case and an injury unique to themselves. The court cannot pursue a case if no party has an interest in it, such as in an action of ejectment where the plaintiff must recover based on the strength of their title rather than the weakness of the defendants. Ultimately, the Supreme Court determined that the plaintiff lacked a personal interest and unique injury, rendering them ineligible to challenge the law's constitutionality. As a result, the court dismissed the writ of error brought forth by the plaintiff. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.